Single mothers. I'm going to hit on single mothers for a bit because um, not a lot of people talk about it. I came out of a three-year relationship with a single mother last couple of years. Uh, this, is a, this is a meme that somebody sent me that I kind of chuckled at, but I'm not going to read it off. You can see it there for yourself. I'll leave it up for a sec. But there's, but there's truth in every joke. Okay? <laughs> when you see these stand-up comics up on stage telling their jokes, the reason why they're funny is because there's elements of truth in them. Okay? So when you see stuff like that, you got to think about it. The thing about single moms is you're going to end up with double, triple, quadruple the heartbreak. Um, this ex of mine had a couple boys, and when you spend time playing Halo with little Timmy and zeroing the scope in on the BB gun of Billy, uh, and you take trips and you do the blended family stuff, when she goes, they go too. You'll never see them again. And even though they might have driven you absolutely nuts, you have like double or triple the heartbreak when you deal with somebody like that. Uh, it's also very easy for them to end the relationship because I've done it once. At my age, I was dating mostly divorced women. Seven, out of, seven or eight out of ten women uh, are divorced because they initiate the divorces, so it's very easy for them to move along and just you know, slide into the next relationship. They have questionable judgment skills. Um, you talk to single moms that have been divorced, you'll hear all kinds of stories from them about why they got married, the children, why they made all these decisions and choices, and after a while, you'll start to ask yourself, that's pretty questionable, and I don't see you taking a lot of ownership on whatever it was that you contributed to that. You'll never be a priority. You'll come in behind the kids, the cat, the dog, the extracurriculars, the parent-student nights. You're like fifth or sixth, you know, the tree that needs to get removed in the backyard sort of thing. You're not going to be a priority. You know, save yourself for somebody else that has the capacity of the time. They think the world is going to revolve around her and her kids. She's emotionally unavailable. I talked about the amount of fucks that you have in your day to give to things that are truly fuckworthy. Well, single moms have kids. Uh, they're going to take up a lot of the time and resources. Most single moms have custody of their children more than the men. Okay? So they're going to have to deal with a lot of parenting issues. Uh, mothers tend to dote over their children more than men do. Men are kind of more of like, let me teach you how to deal with this sort of thing. And mothers are like, are you okay? You know, are you shitting properly? Are you eating well? And all this sort of stuff. I'm, you know, I'm in my 40s. My mom still mothers me. It, you know, they eat up a lot of time and resources. You can even ask married men in this room what it's like to be married, and you'll start to recognize after a while that a lot of energy and resources, even in married couples where they have the children together, is eaten up you know, with the mother spending time with the kids. They're not yours. Uh, emotionally unavailable, her kids will work against you. Um, they're not intentionally trying to do this, but even your presence in that relationship, you're pissing on the flame of reconciliation between the two parents, whether they choose to acknowledge it or not. Okay? Even if you're a stand-up virtuous guy, you can bend over backwards and do everything under the sun for them, you're still, your presence is still pissing on the flame of reconciliation the way they see it, depending on what their age is, especially if they're younger. They have a distorted self-image. Um, all you have to do is go on any dating app, see single moms in there, they think they're a 10 when they're like a 6. You know, everybody's had that experience, I'm sure. They don't take a lot of ownership for the mistakes that happen in their life. And it's 100% investment with 0% ROI. At least with my own daughter, what I invest in her, I get something back. I'm, in, I'm invested in my own lineage, okay? You don't get anything back investing in some other man's children. Lesson number nine.